welcome to this special edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. The second satellite in the Sentinel-2 mission, called Sentinel-2B, has been at ESA's STEC site in the Netherlands since June, where it has undergone rigorous testing to prepare it for launch. Now it is being packed up and readied for shipping to its launch site in French Guiana. Last week, I got the chance to speak with some of the key players in the building and testing of the satellite at STEC. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and in this special edition of Earth from Space, we join you from the clean room in Aztec in Nordvik in the Netherlands, and behind me is the Sentinel 2B satellite. And I'm joined today by two very important people. We have Valerie Fernandez, who is the Sentinel 2 uh, MSI um, mission engineering and payload manager, and Paolo Labyrinthi, who's responsible for the assembly, integration, and testing of the Sentinel 2B satellite. Now, Valerie, I want to start with you as the MSI payload manager. What have you been responsible for during the building of the satellite? So being a payload manager is being in charge of the development of the MSI and his testing. Uh, and this MSI, which is a multispectral instrument, is the core part of the Sentinel-2 mission. So being a payload manager is a teamwork. Uh, we have to coordinate a team internally composed of very high qualified engineers and experts who are coming from the various uh, entities e here within ESA. But it's also a work um, that has to be done and enhanced with industry. Uh, the MSI was developed um, by Airbus France, who is uh, the prime contractor and who has led a consortium of about uh, 20 entities. So among this consortium, it's very important to keep good communication flow to avoid any misunderstanding, especially when you are in this AIT phase where you have to integrate and build and put all the things together. Uh, this MSI uh, that has been developed uh, had a shorter development phase because we didn't have a design phase. We have MSI A already in Orbit. So this means that you have to focus more on the manufacturing and on the integration to make sure that you are reproducing as much as possible similarly as you are with MSI-A to have a twin satellite. So most of the work was to make sure that every step in these building blocks were done together with a good coordination and today we can say that it was well done by industry co coordinated with us uh, because the second instrument has been uh, put uh, and integrated on the spacecraft 16 months after the delivery of the first one. Now can you point out where the instrument is on the satellite behind us? Yeah, so the satellite is uh, this long column of uh, blocks that is necessary uh, to, to work in and the instrument is on the top covered today by a wrap because we have to avoid any contamination and this is important to keep it as much as safe so this is the upper part. Now the, of course the instrument has been tested, the satellite has been tested. Paolo, what happens next? Well, we are almost at the end of uh, the test campaign. In fact, we have uh, still one test to, to go, which is uh, a leak uh, rate test, a test uh, in which we will do it uh, t tomorrow, tonight, placing the spacecraft inside uh, its uh, transportation container, just to verify that the, the, um, the tightness of the propulsion system, which is going to be pressurized to its maximum pressure, and uh, verify that there is no uh, residual uh, leakage. This is fundamental uh, for safety of the satellite uh, and uh, for performing the activities at the launch site. This is the last uh, test that we do here after the long sequence of uh, environmental tests that we have uh, performed before. We have in parallel uh, still to exploit uh, the final uh, data of the system test we have uh, run uh, in the last weeks which are uh, very complex uh, functional tests, which mimic the operational satellite, the payload, and all the other parts uh, as in orbit, because this is an operational mission, so it's a very special satellite for that purposes. So we have done, um, after the alignment of the satellite, which is very precise, we have done all these functional tests, and now we have to exploit some of the data, which are not verified in real time. And so this week is the last week uh, to exploit the data. We'll have uh, our final uh, acceptance review next week and the next week we'll declare if the spacecraft is ready to go to the launch site but we are really at the end of our uh, long campaign and it's been a really uh, 
successful campaign so far because we don't have uh, major uh, issues. Everything is uh, according to the, the standards and so we are very satisfied about that. Now after it's sent to the launch site in Karoo in French Guiana, what happens next? Well, uh, also because we a special satellite, uh, uh, we also there we do a lot of uh, verification. So we verify basically the health uh, of all the, the units by comparing the trend of the evolution of the key parameters with respect to the one we have got during the whole campaign year. So we check that everything is perfectly in uh, the, the, the original trend. In addition, what we do, we uh, do very fine alignment checks because everything has to be ultra stable. We verify the MSI, so we, we check the multispectral instrument uh, 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 by checking that it's clean, it's ready to go to, to flight. We verify there is no light intrusion in the, in the MSI, so because you see it's a big cavity, so everything has to be well uh, protected from light. And then we go for the final steps, which are fueling, which is a very delicate activity, which is done by a special team. Uh, the team which is here, uh, basically they have their cart on the other side of the clean room. They pressurize the space cap, but this time will be with a real hydrazine fuel, which is a very dangerous uh, activity. After that, we'll be ready to go on uh, the Vega adapter and then be encapsulated in the fairing. This final step will bring us to, to go to the gantry, being lifted up uh, to the other stages of the, of the, the Vega launcher will be waiting for us. Then a uh, few days before the launch, we'll do a rehearsal of all the launch sequence with uh, all the other partners of the launch uh, site. So Ariane Space, uh, CNES, which is managing the infrastructure, and Vega uh, team to be sure that we are perfectly synchronized in all the activity the day of the launch. And then beginning of March, we will be ready to go for the launch and uh, be ready for another mission and uh, try to complement uh, the fantastic images of Sentinel 2A. Well, Paolo and Valerie, thank you so much for speaking with us today. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space or about our planet, you can visit our website at www.isa.int.